during this week we're going to work on the strategy and how to utilize the drills that we're going to do to help you make better decisions on doubles. How to stand on the court, how to communicate with your partner and at the end how it's more effective to win the points at the net. Okay. Gio, who is the player serving at the moment, is going to place himself a little bit closer to the doubles line. The reason of that is because we and doubles are going to cover also a doubles alley. The person that his partner is at the net is RC. The main responsibility for RC is to make the person that is receiving a little more uncomfortable, meaning that he is going to be faking the push, pushing from time to time, uh, and also trying to move so to have the, the, the person that is returning a little on distraction. Okay, so Gio is going to be serving on this drill. RC is at the net. Max is returning on this side of the court and George is at the net right here. So what we're going to work on is on RC poaching the return from Max. So the most important in doubles is to communicate with your partner every single time after every point. Also making signs to make sure that we are clear on what we do. Okay, go ahead. So Gio is going to serve. In doubles it's important to place the ball most of the serves to the tee, so we only open up the angles a lot. So that's just pushing on the first ball after the return. Now what we're going to do is, you're going to tell him, when I see the opportunity, I'm going to come across. Okay? So we're going to play the point, and when you see, let's go, let's go to the other side. And he's not going to win the first, but he, they're going to see opportunity to come across and win the point with the pushing. Go ahead. Again, like, like I said, it's important, uh, the, com the verbal communication, but also with signs. So we're totally sure on what, what, they, what are they doing, where they play, locating the set place. Like I said before, the most important uh, aspect in doubles is the communication. The verbal communication is good. Serving to the center of the, or to the T line, is very beneficial in doubles because you don't open up the, the court. So Max right here, which is going to be serving, notice that they are on one line. Max is closer to the center line because George will take a side. On this uh, scenario, the serve is going to go to the T. George is going to go to the left side and Max is going to serve and volley. So let's see how it works. Perfect. On this combination, Max is going to be serving out wide, George is going to take his left side, and Max is going to stay back to cover the right side of the court. Okay. So as you can see, the signs, go ahead. Yeah. Serving out wide, yeah. and George is going to take in the left side. Excellent. That is the way to finish the points at the net. As you saw, there were some drills to work on your strategy for doubles. The, the key concept in doubles is to have your uh, opponents guessing on what you're going to do. Especially if you're serving because you're controlling the situation. We saw the poaching after the return. Poaching when they see the opportunity to come across and win the point of bowling. And also we, did, we saw the eye formation where the, where the person at the net were taking different sides on the court. So it's always important that your uh, opponent don't know what is coming to them. Uh, for, uh, the most important, like I said uh, before, is to have the, com the communication with your partner and that you guys have the chemistry and to work this and train this, if you can on a daily basis, better to master it.